Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea and the Loveland Public Library. As always, before we read stories, we have to get our wiggles out. Can you stand up for me, please? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears. And I wiggle my nose. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my chin. I stretch my arms wide and I pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. And I smile and say, cheese. Now I have no more wiggles left in me, so I'll sit on the floor as still as can be. So Miss Andrea is at home this week because she came up positive for Corona, but feeling okay. So we're going to read a very old book. This was actually mine from when I was a little kid. It's by Cecily Jocelyn. It's illustrated by Maurice Sendek, and it's called What Do You Say, Dear? You are downtown, and there is a gentleman giving baby elephants to people. You want to take one home because you've always wanted a baby elephant. But first, the gentleman introduces you to each other. What do you say, dear? If you were going to be polite when you meet a baby elephant, what would you say? How do you do? You are picking dandelions and columbines outside the castle. Suddenly, a fierce dragon appears and blows red smoke at you. But just then, a brave knight gallops up and cuts off the dragon's head. <gasps> what do you say, dear? Thank you very much. You are a nurse and you rush to see a patient because a dinosaur bit him. You bandage him all up and he says, Oh, nurse, you saved my life. Thank you. What do you say, dear? You're welcome. You've gone downtown to do some shopping. You're walking backwards because sometimes you like to, and you bump into a crocodile. What do you say, dear? Excuse me. You are at a wedding party because you are the bride. You have a fine husband and an enormous wedding cake, and you are going to live happily ever after, only first, you are very, very hungry. What do you say, dear? Would you please pass the cake? There we go. You are at the princess's ball and she is telling you a secret. But her orchestra of bears is making such a fearful lot of noise you cannot hear what she is saying. What do you say, dear? I beg your pardon. You go to London to see the Queen. She says, oh, you must stay for dinner. We're having spaghetti. So you do. And there is spaghetti for the appetizer, spaghetti for the main dish, and a spaghetti salad. By the time the Queen's Guard brings spaghetti for dessert, you cannot fit in your chair anymore and you want to leave the table. What do you say, dear? May I please be excused? Spaghetti for dessert? You are flying around in your airplane and you remember that the Duchess said, do drop in for tea sometime. So you do, only it makes a rather large hole in her roof. What do you say, dear? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. 
You are a dangerous pirate, and you have captured a fine lady to take on your ship. Every morning when you untie her so she can eat breakfast, she says, Good morning, how are you? What do you say, dear? Do you think a pirate is really polite? Let's see. Arr, fine, thank you, how are you? All of your friends come to your house for a party. The princess brings her orchestra of bears and they play two dances, but then they want to eat everybody up. What do you say, dear? This is the end, goodbye. The end. So that was a pretty silly story about being polite. Let's stand up and do a silly rhyme. go. Laugh a little, laugh a little, ha ha ha. Sing a little, sing a little, la la la. Dance a little, dance a little, tap tap tap. Clap a little, clap a little, clap clap clap. Spin a little, spin a little, round and round. Rest a little, rest a little. All sit down. Fantastic. Can you get your clapping hands out and help me say goodbye? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. For those who might want it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye! Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. I hope you all stay safe and healthy out there.